Alrighty, so we've got a pretty large rocker. Uh, it's a nice tall back, beautiful design, some nice turnings down there. And if you guys out there who know wood want to take a guess at what it is, I'll give you a little sneak peek right here. So we've got a really interesting design with the seat having a little hollow. You see a lot of times um, this actually cut out of a, um, I did a, a rocker a while ago that had that seat cut out with an insert in. This one just has wood. And we do have the original um, metal bands. They come through and they're uh, bolted into the seat, right through the seat. So that's a good design. I like that. It's kind of a nice feature. And we do have a lot of paint on this one. Looks like red and blue. And maybe another one I can't see. And uh, it's just kind of cracking and chipping everywhere. So we're going to get all of this paint off of this lovely wood. So first things first, let's get it on the workbench, take it apart and start stripping.
Alrighty, so I've got all of that red, red goopy paint and the blue goopy paint and the white goopy paint off of all of these pieces. And now we're gonna get onto some sanding. So if anybody doesn't know what type of wood this is yet, this is elm. And it's one of my favorite woods. It's really beautiful, but it's got quite a bit of uh, uh, red still stuck into it. So we're gonna have to sand it pretty, pretty good because we're going with a neutral color. I won't tell you what color it is yet, but um, yeah, so just enjoy uh, some sanding because I've got that entire pile to do here. Okay, so I've got all that sanding done with 120, just the first round of sanding. And if I pour a little bit of alcohol on here, I'm just gonna show you the color that we're getting. If you remember, it had that red um, paint on it. There, I'm not sure if it's coming through the camera, but there's a little bit of a pink hue um, and also the wood color coming through on most of these pieces. And for the color that we're going, that's not really gonna work. So what we're gonna do is use a two-part bleach on all of the pieces. And if that doesn't come up all the way, we'll use a little bit of regular bleach. So I'm gonna use the Gaudi system, four to one wood bleach, and I've just got that mixed up here. So I'm just gonna get on everything and pop in the drying rack. All right, so there's the chair the next day. We've got a lot of that color out. And I'm just um, looking at the seat here. There's a little bit of color still left, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand um, the whole chair down again, get it back on the bench and do another round of sanding. And if we need to hit the seat again, we can do that. I think everything else looks pretty good. You can see kind of what happens is the color pulls out and sits on top of the wood kind of see little pieces of pink that have come out of the grain. So I'm hoping that all comes out with sanding. If not, we'll just do another round uh, and we'll take a look at what the wood looks like after to see if it's a good base for our color. Okay, so I've got everything glued up or sanded and uh, looking good. It does still have kind of a pinkish, pinkish hue, but I think we're gonna be able to work with that. So here's the color. I've been hiding it from you the whole time. Um, either this, which is a gray or a French gray. So the customer is going to be able to choose which one that she likes. And these are both gouty stains. This is the French gray. It's a little darker, a little warmer. 
and then the gray is just a, a lighter steely kind of gray. So you're still gonna see a lot of that nice elm through and we actually have a few different woods here. Um, I believe this is elm and I believe a couple of these are birch and then we've got um, maple, nice hard maple for the rockers. So it makes sense that they did that that way because elm isn't very good for um, a rocking surface. So what we're gonna do now is glue this guy together and uh, get it all nice and sturdy and do a proper sample for the customer and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so we've got everything in, uh, glued up in clamps, and so I'm just going to work on these bars that go here. And these holes are not in great condition, and these um, screw tops are not the prettiest things, and they don't sit in there very well. One's kind of centered here, and on the other arm, it's kind of off to the side. And this is way too deep, and this kind of sits in a big hole. So what I've decided to do is... Um, put them back in there because they are part of the chair, but I'm going to be drilling these out and putting a elm plug in to cover them up. So from some miracle, my dad has a chunk of elm here. All right, so we've got it all hand sanded with 180. So we are ready to make a sample so I can show the customer. So uh, I'm, this elm is pretty dry. It's gonna soak up a lot of stain. So like I do often, I'm gonna take some Varsol, which is paint thinner, it's just a brand name. And I'm going to pre-soak that elm. Gives you a chance to see that natural color. So that's just going to kind of allow the stain to float on the top of that arm. So I'm not going to stain all the way up here because it's hard to sand in case she doesn't like it. I'm just going to do this piece here where the plug is. And wipe it off. I think it's going to actually be a really nice color for this piece. And we'll probably need to do some tinting as always, but I think that's a really good start. So I'm going to call up my customer and see what she thinks about that. Alrighty, so I've had a consult with the customer and she is happy with this color. So we're going to be going with a Gaudi Grey for the whole thing. I actually really like this color. 
So I'm gonna get the stain rolling and get this chair all colored up. Okay, so this is dried overnight and it's looking really nice. So I'm just gonna give it a sand down with 320 and take care of any little areas that look odd. I'm still wondering if I should um, do something about these guys. I think I will fill a little bit more with some wax and maybe just uh, blend in the color a little bit better there. So it looks a little bit odd on that one. This one looks a little better but I think I will kind of carry these lines through just to help it fade away. Everything else looks pretty good though. I think we've got a pretty good color, even color going here. So I'll just sand it all down with 320 and give it the final coats. And the next time you see this gal, she'll be done. And there it is, all finished up. I really like how this turned out. It's a really interesting color on this elm. I've never done that before. But it still shows all that beautiful green and the warmth is still coming through on a lot of areas. But you get that kind of driftwood, newish tone that you've seen in so many places lately. So also my mom uh, who's an upholster here has created a couple of cushions so not only beautiful but comfortable so yeah that's nice I did sit in it so it is comfortable but anyways thanks for joining me on this one guys and I really appreciate you uh, coming with me through all these restorations and I hope you enjoyed this one and it was helpful if you want to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. And as always, just thank you for being here. Have a good day. Cheers.